Hey guys, how you all doing today? Hope you're being safe. In today's video of Jurassic News, our brand new series, I know, I know, we're going to be discussing um, Camp Cretaceous as the whole series. This is our non-spoiler review. Next week you'll be seeing the spoiler-filled review. This story takes place just before and during the events of Jurassic World. I thought it would take place during and a bit after, but nope, it's basically completely opposite of what I thought. The main characters of the story that we follow are six campers, as well as two um, camp counselors. The campers themselves are Darius, who's a dino nut kind of person, my kind of guy as well. Um, Brooklyn, who is a YouTube vlogger, Ben, who's a queasy guy, and gets very sick, apparently. Kenji, cool, rich guy, but he's not really that cool, let's just be honest. Sammy, a cowgirl sort of go-getter. Yaz, I believe that's how you pronounce it, is an athletic, um, anti-social kind of person. And our two, um, camp counselors are Dave, who is a rookie, trying to be best friends with all of them kind of camper, well, counselor, and, and Roxy is a calm but caring, stern counselor who is probably one of my favorite characters, like her go-to attitude but caring nature. Especially near the end of the show, which I won't say what happens during the end because the first half of the series is kind of a bit of a just like getting to know some of the activities that they get to do and it's not until episode 4 where stuff really starts to taking place during Jurassic World. And yes, it's a, it's in episode 4 we finally get to see in Dumb Strikes and trust me, it was awesome. Story-wise, I would say that this, um, was very successful. The only episode that I would say was a bit of a letdown and not the best is possibly episode 7. Probably just because, like, it feels a little bit slow and not much is happening compared to the rest of the show. It just doesn't feel it. But at the end of that episode, it has a real shock. Also in this series, we get to learn about a brand new company that we haven't actually seen in the um, Jurassic games. It's not Biosyn. We get to see places of the park we haven't seen, such as the kayaking. Yes. However, I will state something that is a little odd. In the promotion for Camp Cretaceous, we heard that there was supposed to be three Baryonyx, or at least one that had a and Grimm, which even in the toy line for Camp Cretaceous from the tail, one of the products is a Baryonyx, painted green with a bit of brown, and that's supposed to be Grimm, but in the whole series we don't see it, which I guess is fine, maybe we'll see him in season 2, and, well, the ending basically states that there is going to be a season 2. That being said, I would say that for the show as a whole, I would say my worries were misplaced. It was very, very good in my opinion. There were some parts where it could have been a little bit better, but I, I say it was really successful. If I were to rank the characters, my top three characters, I would say I would rank them all. I wouldn't know how to rank them all. I definitely put number one as either Roxy or Yaz, because they both seem like strong, independent people, and you know, they have personalities that kind of remind me of myself. I don't know. Maybe. There's only one character that I originally didn't really like, which was probably Kenji, but I think that's because you're supposed to not really like him. But after watching the whole series, I, I would say that He's grown on me, and he's not too bad. Other things to go over is Bumpy. So we learn that Bumpy is actually um, an accelerated dinosaur, and that came out 
well hatched early. It's the reason why one of its um spikes on its head are longer than the others. Also, one thing that's very interesting with the Indominus Rex is the screen time. It actually only shows up in two two of the episodes, which I thought it would have. I thought it would have like a little larger role because I originally thought that Indominus Rex would show up in like the first or second episode. But nope, that that didn't happen. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. So, in conclusion to this non-sport review, I would say Camp Cretaceous is out of 10, I would give it a 8. I want to give it 9, but I don't want, I think it's just because it just came out out recently and I don't want to like push it. Maybe in my um spoiler re view um where I can talk about some really interesting scenes, including one where um the kids basically wreck wreck or should I say rexed. See what I did there? Anyway, where they a proper wreck um a dinosaur. I'm not going to say what dinosaur and stuff because well you're going to have to go and see it. But, but I would give this um show right now a eight out of ten, which is really not too shabby, and it makes me excited for another season, which apparently, if rumors are true, should come out just alongside or before Dominion, whatever Netflix and Universal decide to do. But with that out of the way, I obviously I enjoyed this show. I hope you guys did too. Leave in the comments whether you did. And till next time, be safe. And if you feel like I've earned it, enjoyed this video. I appreciate the like. And if you want to join the hunt, smash that subscribe button. Share with your friends, family, and um, well, whatever's in between, you know. I, I don't know. I, that just depends on the person. But until next time, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.